It's the envy that you envy Savannah Nepal. And we're running through what, in my opinion, were the EPs that I fuck with in 2020. We're running through these gauntlet style again. I'm gonna do a little blurb on each one. So let's go. So to start, we got James Blake. We got James Blake with the before EP. Continuing down that more optimistic electronic road that he's been going down in the last few years. I recommend that. Pretty motherfucker, I took flacco for a spin. You should look within, have you shaken through your limbs. Next up, we got Rosetta by Dua Saleh. They just keep, keep raising the levels. I love, I love their debut EP, Noor. But this one, they're they're experimenting even more genres. They're mixing more things up. We're getting some a little Indian punk in there with the um, with the hip hop and R and B and the neo soul. So I recommend that one as well. Out of Minneapolis. Next up, we got Over Mono with Everything You Need. This one grew on me and ended up growing to be my favorite electronic EP of the year and one of my favorite electronic releases year round in general. Um, this is a really, really good selection of um, techno and tech house. Really, really great for uh, vibing out on a, uh, on a night walk or a night drive. Really connected with me during the pandemic. Jamie. Okay, this next one's pretty easy for me. This is uh, my man Zeke Ultra. His EP A Piece Apart dropped this year, and he just keeps, just keeps putting over really emotive and conscious rap straight out of the dungeon, man. I just can't, <laughs> I just can't put in enough words how how dope this is. Especially, especially that song Garby at the end. I love freeze vocals coming in there, man. So in general, just check this one out. Like I had this one on repeat a lot, especially over the and at the end of the year. Now here's one from more recently and that um, coming at the later end of 2020. Um, Kicks the Killer and Proper Villains of Motherland. Um, Kicks the Killer really, really underrated and just in rap in general, but putting so much work into a hip house and just a really really dope lyric is really fun really good energy just always brings it so i'm really glad that this latest ep with proper villains has gotten a lot of buzz and a lot of attention because it's really deserved because this ep is fucking great i can't wait for parties to happen again when this pandemic is over because we're gonna be jamming this shit i guarantee fucking to you I doubt my music is cow's pain. Proud like Christ and Buddha, you'll never be shamed. Little kids gonna inherit this fame. E plus my celebrity name. Next EP should be a no fucking brainer. JPEG Mafia, just simply titled EP, a collection of all the almost all the songs that he had dropped in 2020 thus far, with with one exclusive added on there, and just firing on all cylinders as far as the bars, the vocals, the production. Just the odd mixing choices, like everything just fits together perfectly. Many niggas don't shade, I am not engaged. Only focus on my gang, not in this cloud of gang. Smoking just the strain, twisting sour jade, chopping that I would fade. Hit the couch to pay. Also gotta shout out another veteran of the 2010s, another fucking MVP, Mike. Teamed up with Jay to see on this EP called Old Earth. If you're looking for that scuzzy, lo-fi, glitchy slum sound that's vogue and experimental hip hop right now, definitely give this one a listen. And they're just trading verses back and forth, really heady, conscious, and reflective shit that they're spitting. But maybe really, really heady hip hop isn't your thing. Maybe you just want those pop bangers. Don't do it, Neil. She's got you covered. This new EP, Tinder Gold, which mm, don't want to you know, to my own horn, but I do have a feature on it. But this whole EP's fire. This whole EP's hooky, really catchy, really, really detailed layer production. You will not regret it. Gotta give a shout out to the most 
aggressive and hardcore EP of the year, fucking Backwash with Stigmata. If you haven't hopped on the Backwash wave, you need to. She is a force to be fucking reckoned with in bringing together hardcore hip hop, horrorcore, and metal in really, really inventive and experimental ways. Check this one out. And I gotta end this one with Slouse and Malone. Now, I really I enjoyed the work thus far, but I think when I listen to to Vergangen Heis Boeltegung, aka Crater Speak, I didn't expect it to be as, ho- as hooked to it as I did. But just how insane and how otherworldly it is with these blends of psychedelic folk and neo soul and some elements of experimental hip hop and plunder phonics and everything coming together it is a really really evocative piece of experimental music and you absolutely should check it out Snouts is easily easily one of the best producers out here so those are picks of what I thought were some of the best of EPs of this year what did you think were the best EPs put that shit down in the comments below once again my name is Savon DePaul thank you for checking out this video peace peace